Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. My name is Chrissy and today I'll be bringing you another wig video. Today's wig is Outre's Harley. I saw this. Bro, the color is not even like... The camera can't even handle the color. I saw this online and I was like, wait a second. Look at these layers. Like, did they give us another butterfly wig? Hello. And look at the way they kind of like flip up. I'm so excited to try it, you guys. So let's go get ahead. Let's go ahead and get into it. Harley by Outre is a synthetic wig that is 18 inches long with a yakky texture. It comes with in a loose wavy style and a basic lace front. It comes in a few cool colors i have pearly pink with me today but they also have blue angel copper blonde um the super popular cream soda color which is like a sandy blonde color uh fire copper red velvet and your basic colors this is what it looks like straight out of the pack and on my head I'll go ahead and brush it out I can already tell you that I love the way these layers are working. I'm gonna go ahead and cut the lace and I'll be right back. Every now and then I get a wig where I do have to use the combs because if I don't, my black hair will show through on the side. So I'm trying to do that instead of gluing it. This is what it looks like with the lace cut off. So I have some nice layers. It's, and all the hair pushed to the front. My only thing is, it is a little bit thin. And I feel like if you were to cut it, it might be a little bit, it might look a little bit better, but that's okay. We're gonna actually work on it. So and yeah, that's the part. Definitely gotta add some, if you wanna plug it some more or just add some concealer or do both, you can definitely do that. And it does come with um, some like little baby hairs too. Push down as well. But so far, I do think it is an accurate like butterfly cut. I'm not sure if that's what they describe it as on the website, but I do get that vibe. And yeah, I don't think you have to do much with it. Um, I do kind of want to make it a little bit less shiny, plasticky looking. So I'm going to go ahead with my razor and just start off on the side here. Just so that it can look a little bit more realistic. I think this is such a beautiful, because you see how that's already coming in? Like it's a little bit frizzy. I think we need that with this one. This is like my little trick to getting wigs to looking like a little bit fuller. Like you see that already? Just to kind of, you just have to like roughen it up a little bit. Okay, so this is like how it was before. Everything just sitting in one uh, swirl. And then now that we kind of <laughs> use the razor, a little bit more like realism go in with my got to be i know it looks kind of crazy but don't worry just want that to kind of sit in there for a little bit And then I'm gonna go ahead and brush it. Brush it in all sorts of directions. For this part here, just a little bit on the ends, just a tiny bit. one like this there we go just there we go so let's zoom in a little bit my face is breaking out like crazy so that's why I have a lot of like beauty marks today this is how it looks 
after I use the razor, after I use some hairspray, some spray here, some hairspray. Then I would just use this to kind of keep that little swoop that I got there. And this is how it looked before. So, I mean, you guys can, you know, make your own decisions on whether or not it's like better or if you just want to leave it as it is out the back. Personally, I like how this looks. I just look so much more, how do I say it? Like this, this gives plastic, you know? And then this gives like, yeah, I just dyed my hair and I just got it blow, uh, not blow dry. Well, yeah, I just got it like um, a blowout or something like that, you know? Take it even further. You can use dry shampoo. I unfortunately don't have any today. I thought I did, but I don't. Um, but yeah, you can also use baby powder that I do have. And I'm wondering if I should, I don't think I will. Cause I think I was able to kind of get down some of the shininess by using the razor and yeah, I'm going to go ahead and do the other side and I'll probably just speed that up since you guys already saw me do this side. I do like how fuzzy the edges are as well. So I think this is the final look on this week for me. What do you guys think? Do you think what I did like ended up looking better or worse? What do you think let me know but i personally i love it now it's kind of giving almost like an octopus kind of cut but not as dramatic as like how it's supposed to be but i love yeah this is a must yeah this is if you are willing to do the work so that would take me into the pros and the cons so the pros this is a wonderful color i love when brands expand on their color especially for otre like look at all these colors here actually pretty cool I love the color and it, it's just i feel like it's one that because when you look closely you'll see that the fibers are kind of like a different it's a mix of colors it's not like straight pink fiber which i feel like helps the wig to have dimension doesn't look as plasticky as like party city wig because you know party city wigs come in like <laughs> the fibers one shade literally this is a mix of shades to get this beautiful like bubblegum pink color um in person it's a little bit richer it's not as faded as it looks on the camera for some reason but it's not like super different um i don't know how else to describe it it's definitely like giving bubblegum 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 pink or even peach kind of but yeah it's super cute and perfect for spring i love the style as well like i said in my other videos i love when brands try to um kind of distance dis distance themselves from the typical styles and are trying like new things um like kind of with um was it Dashley or like the butterfly cuts that they're trying to do? I love that they're trying to give us more options so we can keep up with all the trends out there. Do it at a more affordable price, you know? Like we don't have to go to a specific hairdresser to get these looks done. And I think it's just such a good idea. Light, it's, um, but at the same time, it's not like you won't, I don't feel any tracks. Let me just turn the back. I don't see any tracks and my head is big. So it's a snug fit, could be a little bit looser. Um, but I feel like it's not super tight, so it is like it's medium to be kid friendly. I do feel like because the lace in the front is kind of rough, it might be a problem. This pollen is messing me up, so that's why my nose is stuffy. I didn't get any shedding, of course, before I started to to use my razor, and but even while I was brushing it out before, I didn't get any shedding or any tangling for a colored wig. That's pretty good. I didn't get any, so I think that's great. It's super affordable. You get what 
you what you pay for and maybe even a little bit more because of the baby hairs that they put in and on on like the side here too you can kind of just use the combs you don't really have to glue it down i feel like if i were to go out with it though i would glue it down just in case because i don't want the wind to blow and then that's it you know it's a good amount of hair but for some reason it looks thin and i don't know why but as you guys could see i was able to work that out so we can get some fullness you know when they do like the butterfly cut and they're looking to the side and it's like oh yeah yeah because um the thinness of it straight out of the pack i don't understand like i said before i don't understand it's a lot of hair but for some reason it kind of has that slightly greasy look and i don't know why like i feel like in 2024 you know brands need to stop doing that <laughs> need to stop having like fiber that's like that like i just don't i thought we were stepping away from that <laughs> another con is the parting space the lace itself is very rough um and that can be a problem for people like me that one if you want to wear your hair wear your wig for a while that can be a problem because it irritates your scalp it ir irritate your edges and it just feels like you're reminded constantly that you're wearing a wig which can really be an annoying you know wig wearers we know this and yeah that that middle part right there could be a little bit wider but i do like that they give you the option to make it wider if you want to but they don't make it too wide so if you wanted to do i'm trying to see if you did like a little okay if you wanted to do like a little flip Oh, maybe that's why they made it so thin. So you can really kind of do any. Like, mm. Okay, that works. If you wanted to do a flip, you can get away with it. Um, I would just definitely use some hairspray so that it doesn't fall over, back over for you, on you. But yeah, that's that's actually that makes sense. Um, could have been plucked a little bit more. Once again, though, it is affordable, and I think the price range makes sense. Um, that it's in right now. Overall, I would give this wig a mm, six out of ten. I would buy it again in another color. I do wish. I didn't have to work so hard to get it to look the way I want it to look but you know that's just how it goes sometimes personally I mean that's what I'm here for that's what I like but sometimes I know we just want a wig that we can just throw on and go and is in the style that we want it to be in thank you guys so much for watching I hope you enjoyed this video and I hope you enjoyed how I styled this wig um yeah if you guys could just comment on what you liked about this video what you didn't like so I can get better at making videos for you guys and yeah don't forget to check out my next my don't forget to check out my other videos. The link should be here somewhere. I'm slowly getting used to this YouTube thing. So hopefully it's working out for you guys. I'll see you in the next video. Bye. Oh, the blue one in the back. That's the next one. And I'm so excited for it. Bye.